Hi, this is a follow-up to the maths as a kick drum video that I just posted. So I got a question about how the patch works. Basically, it starts with maths as a low-pass gate, so I'm going to explain that first. Essentially, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm passing a saw output to the signal input of maths, and then I'm turning up the rise and fall to where the amplitude, you can't hear it anymore, essentially. Um, let me demonstrate that. So first of all, I'm gonna turn this down. So now this is it um, linear and everything's down. I'm gonna put this in the, uh, the output, uh, this, the uh, slope output, unattenuated slope output. I don't know if you can hear that because it's kind of far away in my speakers, but I'll turn it a little bit louder. So that's the saw output. It's not quite what the saw sounds like because you are modifying it. So it's a little brighter when it's the raw sound of the saw. Um, and then basically what you do is you pull these up to where the amplitude is no longer heard anymore of that sound. Then the second thing that you do to make the low pass gate is you take a clock. In this case, I'm just using the clock that is generated by the Echophon. It doesn't matter what clock you use. And you put it into the trig output of the, sec the fourth channel of math. So one, two, three, four, one and four. Sorry, one and four. These are one and four. And um, then after that, you, sorry, I lost the patch cord here. You take the, uh, slope output of channel four that you just created, and you put it into the both output of channel one. And what this basically does is pulls these two values down to basically make it sound again. So remember, if I, if I do this, you can hear it again, right? So what this would do is each time this fires an envelope shape, it would pull these two knobs down because they made the both output work slightly differently than the rise and the fall inputs, probably for this reason. So now you have basically that low pass sound. Let me see if I can turn this up a little bit. So there's nothing else going on here. I, I'm just running this straight over here to a mixer. So it's basically acting as a low pass gate. There's no VCA, there's no envelope other than what you're seeing in maths. And um, you can do different things with it. You can open it up. You can also do something you can't do with a low pass gate, like make that kind of noise. If you turn it more logarithmic, it just opens up. The more you, the more you put it exponential, the more it sounds like a low pass gate. You can play with this. That'll make it sound slightly different and maybe more open. So that's the low pass gate. To create the kick drum sound, all you basically do is remove this signal input and then turn on the cycle input. <laughs> and then you know, you still need this. But um but basically this now is your kick. And I can slow the kick down, uh, kick drum down by moving the clock here. So this actually sounds like a pretty decent kick drum. Let me come over here. I don't know how well that's coming off in the phone, but um, There you go. That's what you do.